Good morning, welcome back to Six Ashes. Uh, before this, I was uh, just, uh, well, I've been spending a couple of days just setting a little something up. I am going to be starting a realistic roleplay series. Hopefully it doesn't blue screen and I'll lose everything, because that's what it likes to do on me, my beautiful PS4. But, you know, it is what it is. Take it with a pinch of salt. But I do believe the map is called, is it Oak Hill? Um, I've been setting that up. But I've been having a couple of issues with the update of that map. Yeah, apparently if you still, uh, if you use like 87% and you already have that map installed, apparently it takes it all the way up to 100% just to install the update, which is oh, really annoying. But... We've got a busy day today, and thank you, I want to say massive thank you again to uh, Donald Brown. He said, can we plant wheat in fields 11 and 15, oats in fields 60 and 22, canola in 18 and 21, and barley in 14. So that is what we're going to do. As you can see, we are now in the planting window for the cereal crops of wheat, barley, oats, and uh, canola. So we've got another busy time of planting. Uh, let's have a quick look though at how our sunflowers are getting on. Because uh, we still do have some crops in the field. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, they're nearly ready. That's brilliant. So as you can see, all of our fields here are now growing. That's great. Our sunflowers, they're almost ready to harvest. That's going to be brilliant. As well as uh, field 16, that started growing nicely. That, oh, as you can see, look, it's getting to the next growth stage just across there. Field 10 as well, that is almost ready to harvest. So two corn fields, two sunflower fields. Oh, we're going to have a work cut out with those. But let's get in. What have we already set as a canola? Hmm. All right, well... Let's have a look at our fields. Uh, field 14, that needs to be barley. So, we'll do that now. We're already right near it, so let's switch to barley. And uh, let's try and swing around. There we go, beautiful early in the morning. Look at that, it's nine minutes past seven. And the sun is already shining. Hopefully today is gonna be a fantastic day, I'm hoping. He says, what's that over there? Oh, that's my planter. Okay. I forgot to left that over there. Has been a while. Like I said, I have been setting up things for a realistic roleplay series. Let's do, oh, squeeze through there. Right, so Bali, field 14. That is over there. Oh, I need to swing around. I need to also check, see how that grass is getting on, if it is drying. Do need some hay for the sheep, so it would be nice if that's dried. No, it hasn't. Of course, it hasn't, Mr. P. Why would it? Apparently, grass in fields really doesn't like me. It didn't like me in the valley of the old farm, that's for sure, in that field that we had with the grass. But, oh dear, hopefully this one does. There we go. I still haven't updated this map, I should really, but, you know, it is what it is. It was just some minor tweaks that they made to the map. Uh, I don't like that how much water you have to give these cows. Normally you only give them like a little bit, but, yeah, these cows are just really like that water. Right, so, field. Oh, let's get back on. Field 14 is barley. Um, just make sure, field 14, we're right in front of it. Yes, this is field 14. So, barley going in this field. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. The last crop that was in this, Mr. P had a brain fart. And uh, put cotton in it. And, of course, we couldn't get the cotton harvested down the road. So, I'm just glad... We can get some cereal crops in this field. Let's just lift that up now. Swing around a little bit. I really am looking forward to the cotton harvest. Being able to use uh, the, um, the the John Deere cotton uh, harvester and the packer. See how all that works. 
that's going to be really nice. But, oh, just look at that view. Would you not want to be in this tractor just looking out here? I mean, it is stunning. Am I planting in there? Yeah, of course I am. But still, it looks absolutely beautiful. I have been doing a bit more in cab off screen <laughs> to get myself uh, used to doing it again. How am I doing? Wow, miles out. But still, it looks fantastic. So yes, I do believe it is the map called Oak Hill. Uh, that is going to be the map that we are going to be doing a realistic series on. You'll have to let me know, are you going to be looking forward to it? Of course you are, it's Mr. P. Why wouldn't you? There's going to be plenty of brain farts. As you know, there's never an episode that goes by where Mr. P doesn't absolutely mess things up. There we are, that's the edge of that field. Let's swing around. These shaded areas with these trees. Let's just turn some lights on. I do love the lights on this John Deere. <laughs> the light up a lot. But yeah. So we're planting cereal crops. It is late summer. Uh, are we going to be pushing it for time to get these cereal crops harvested? In time for the cotton? Honestly, I don't know. But it's what you want planting in the comment section. And like we say, what you say in the comment section, turn the lights off, is uh, what you say in the comment section happens nine times out of ten in the episodes. And I just still can't get over that view. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Clear your throat, Mr. Pete. I'll just get the heddle and done. And then what I think we'll probably do is we'll head on to a couple of smaller fields, get those done, possibly field 22, and uh, get some con uh, oats in there. I was about to say canola, Mr. Pete's not canola. But yeah, I know it's repetitive, you know, with the planting, the seeding. But again, that is part and parcel of the farming. Uh, what field is that one at the side of me? 15. Hmm. Could look at possibly putting some barley in there, but right next to it. Why not? But like I say, you know, you don't really want to be planting all your fields in the same day as you really are going to struggle to get it all harvested in the one day especially if you are using like times 5 or, or times 15 there are times when I, uh, I uh, was keeping it on times 5 and, or times 15 and we was really struggling you know to have that time to fertilize the fields and put the nutrients in that they needed Swing around, oh, turn in circle, beautiful. Right down we go. So it shouldn't take too long to get this field done. Uh, we will have to give it a nice little 30 squirt. Just to get the nutrients in the ground. Maybe, maybe put some slurry on it. With slurry, do you put your slurry on... Uh, after you've harvested it, when all the stalks are up, is that when you decide to put your slurry on, or uh, do you use the slurry injectors? Do you use the, the, is it the dribble bar? Where it has like those little bits of hose? What happened there? Hmm, okay. Yeah, you have to let me know. What's your preferred thing for a farm? If you're running a farm, um, you know, do you... Do you have both manure and uh, slurry? Because obviously you can get, I'm sure you can get manure and slurry from the uh, the pigs. But what's your go-to uh, animal? You know, is it, do you just focus on uh, sheep first, cows, pigs? Without seasons, pigs can be, honestly, not very lucrative. They do take a lot to uh, keep happy. I mean, the old root crops thing. You know, within seasons, though, <laughs> the pigs don't need root crops. But in real life, pigs, they absolutely eat 
anything. They really do. They do greedy little things. You'll have to let me know. At some point, should we look at possibly getting some pigs? You know, we've got the sheep. I have, talking about sheep, I have brought another pallet. Uh, I do need to head on over to the store to pick that up. Let's just lift that up. So I've got that to bring back to the farm. Hopefully, in a couple of days, that grass there will dry to hay. So we do have plenty of hay for the sheep. It's one thing I am worried about. Uh, we've definitely got enough silage because we took it all out of the bunker silo. Or the bunker pit, silage pit, the clamp. What do you call uh, uh, the, the bunker silo? Do you call it a, a silage pit, bunker silo, a clamp? You know, because there, there are many terms that can be used for that. It's like TMR <clears throat> or um, or silage. I do know um, on the Tom Pemberton. Uh, if you watch him, he calls uh, calls it cake. You know, do you have a, a set name for uh, TMR silage and things like that? Have to let me know in the comments down below. You know, do you work on a farm? I know I have um, a subscriber that is a uh, a uh, semi driver, truck driver, whichever you want to call it. So, my hat's off to you. You know, it can't be an easy work in the, the current situation. Uh, am I going to hit that tree? More than likely. Let's just swing around a little bit. Right, let's swing around. So, what I was saying, I am gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to put barley in that field over there. Hmm. I think it'll be nice. We do still have all the silage bales still in that field. So we have those that we can sell to make some money during the winter. We do have uh, uh, some a fair amount of crops uh, in our silos. Just wait for the, the, the prime time to get those sold. Because right now really isn't a good time. It's like probably mid-autumn and the start of winter. Possibly late winter. Is the best time to get some of those sold. But, got plenty of time. We are only doing a couple of seasons here in Six Ashes. The amount of times I've got frustrated and thought to myself, that's it, the final straw, Six Ashes is done. Because the amount of issues I've had with this map, I mean, it, it's unbelievable. But, you know, like I always say, it's for the entertainment value. You know, you like seeing me get frustrated, having brain farts. Things happening randomly. I mean, I didn't expect my harvester to get flung up in the air and caught in a bush. Um, off screen, I've had, as you know, I've probably already said this, I've had tractors fly in the air and just disappear. And it says that they're going like thousands of miles per hour. I've had um, bales fly out the baler. I mean, I've, just issue after issue with six ashes, it's cursed. Even the curse has even caught, even caught up with me. Was it in Brazil? I, I do think it was the Brazilian map where the curse caught up me, and we had those uh, issues with the cones that uh, wanted to grow wings and apparently fly. But uh, yeah, but yeah, Mr. P has been setting up a realistic Let's Play series that we will be doing in cab, and obviously when we're out of cab, it will be drone footage. So I'm really looking forward to that. It is going to be... I'm going to try to keep it realistic, simplistic, old-style machinery, small machines, you know, and I just think it's just going to have that something. Um, oh, there we go. Could possibly look at uh, having the subscribers. Yes, you guys and girls, lovely people. Uh, having you have some form of interaction in that series. Maybe, you know, you own a farm further on and you need something. You know, we can always look at doing subscriber contracts. Say, you know, you could just message and I can put it in that series that, you know, I've been contacted by yourselves. You know, you've got cows, they need some food or they need some silage. Obviously, it's got to be something that we're able to do. 
or like you need a, a certain amount of crops, you need some wheat or barley. You know, we can say that I've been contacted by yourselves, you know, and we're doing a contract for you. We can load up a, a trailer full of whatever it is or, or things. If you could think of anything like that, any contracts or, or things that we can implement in to that realistic role play series. I just want to make you involved, like you're in there, like we could be driving along in the tractor, you know, and if you come up with an idea, we could say, you know, you've broke down and I have to help pull your car out because there is a, a certain car on the Brazilian map, no, map, no names mentioned. I've now put a clamp on your car, I hope you're happy, that clamp cost me a fair bit of money and your car's been clamped and it's still where it is, outside that place. So, yep, your car's been clamped, enjoy that one. <laughs> oh, leaving your car in my way. Tut, tut, tut. So, yep, your car's been clamped. Oh, how are we doing on seed wise? Wow, seed wise, we're still on 75%. That's actually really good. But, oh, just look at that view. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love this map, I do. You know, for the, the visuals, it's not just on the areas that you see and you can farm on it's also the areas you know that you don't see like the the backdrop i mean i love things like that the attention to detail you know you don't want to look over there and it just looks like it's a flat wall but you know that's just mr p having a rant mr p normally rants oh there let's uh not miss that bit let's get, just get that you didn't see that your eyes was closed you saw nothing. I'll let you know when to open up. And there you go. You can open your eyes now. So, as we've uh, not missed any bits in this field, <laughs> he says, uh, we're going to get this done. It's got to be a nice amount of barley. Oh, just trying to line up a little bit. Because I do know in real life, you know, after you've harvested uh, a field, you do try to, like, uh, cultivate or, or or till is it tilling basically the same as cultivating you have to let me know what's the difference between cultivating and tilling and it's like tilling basically like a shallow shallower version i don't know i'm, I'm no farmer by all means but i mean nine times out of ten i even make mistakes and this is a game oh my mr p can we make a farmer out of mr p Oh, I don't know. But we're going to try. we at least try and farm. <laughs> oh, maybe one day Mr. P can make it. Maybe one day. Right, let's lift that up, turn around. Right, so where is that other piece? Just there, okay. Right, let's get that bit. Should be one more pass. I don't think this is going to be wide enough to get this whole area. No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll just go back and, and get that little piece. But the cereal crops are going in the ground. I really am glad that, you know, we did rip this field up. Um, a bit devastated about the whole cotton situation with this. But, uh, yeah, right, where's, where's that other little piece that we missed? Is this it here? I think so. There we go. Was that it? Oh, no, I've missed a piece here. Really? Right, there we go. There's that. And so let's have a quick look on the map now. Field 14. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Full of barley. Oh. All right, so... Oh, no. Field 15 at the side, that needs to be wheat. Well, uh, let's switch to wheat. I was going to be sneaky and just trying to get some more barley in there, but uh, it needs to be wheat. So that's what we're going to do. We've got 72% still left in the tank of this. I wish there was like a gate there that could just get into that field, but unfortunately there isn't. <coughs> Did I close that gate? Of course I did. Don't want my cows getting out, Mr. P. Why would you leave a gate open? Like that one over there. Whoops. 
But, you know, who's going to come in my field and steal my grass now? Come on. If it was hay, maybe. No one's going to come in and steal my grass. Alright, there we go. Get out. Close the gate. Don't want my cows getting out. It says that, but I think I've left the side gate open. That's really not going to do fantastic, is it, for the old cows? Oh, I'm trying to think, where is my slurry tanker? Probably somewhere. Hmm, don't know. Well, right, let's close this gate. Oh, <sighs> yeah. <coughs> so, feel 15 needs to be wheat. Just make sure I am going to the right field. Yes, I am. Fantastic. So, I was going to put barley in there, but Miss P, brain fart, you shouldn't think for yourself. It's dangerous. Oh, and that corn's looking really nice there. Alright, open that out. Whilst that's opening out, let's have a quick look through here. Ah, oh, there's a fair few weeds. I really do need to get some herbicide in this field. Well, I did a fantastic job there. Look at that. Brilliant. Alright, field 15. Yep. Let's get some wheat in. Oh, beautiful. Let's get it turned on. Lower down. Shouldn't really take that long to get this field done. Just thinking now, after the cotton harvest has been done, should we leave those big fields as cotton fields? It definitely makes sense. Or we could look at, you know, switching things up. Possibly. Ooh. Let's just wiggle a bit. There we are. Oh, it's like I knew what I was doing. It's like I was made to do this field. There we are. Oh, a bit wobbly bob over there. Trying to straighten out. I so this will be the second field. Making great progress, and it is already 8:47. Don't think we're making bad for time right now. Uh, Money-wise, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. But with Mr. P, as you know, oh, money in farm sim has never been my strong point. Let's just switch things up a bit. There we go. Try and straighten out. What is your go-to uh, planter and uh, a cedar? Because I really do like this. Is it the Kvernland DG2? Oh, did you? oh, Mr. P got something right. Wow. Now that is impressive stuff. Let me just lift that up. There we go. But what is your go-to planter and cedar? I really do like that John Deere planter. Uh, I wish it di did direct drill, that would make life a whole lot easier, but I do like it. It's good width and seed really does seem to uh, not go down that quick. Like this plant, this cedar here, the other John Deere's a planter, come on that must be. But uh, yeah, I, I really do like this. I mean, it holds its seed really well, doesn't use a massive amount. And we're, we're still on it's like 68% now. Realistically, would it be like that? Honestly, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're getting the job done. Here we go, let's get down. Ooh, Mr. Little Piece there, Mr. P, come on. There we go, we can't be missing any. I'm still absolutely good at you know, that bit there didn't germinate. <laughs> but still, realism, you know, not all your fields are going to germinate, you're going to get bits that just didn't make it, unfortunately. But still, it's all good. Let's get this down. Oh, just look at this. Alright, so let's uh, just check what field is next for wheat. We've already got wheat in the tank. So fields 11 as well, 15 and 11 for wheat. And yes, Mr. P's memory is that bad. He has to have the comments open on his phone so he knows what he's planting. As he has a brain fart like a bit ago when he was nearly going to put barley in this field. Oh, that would have been dangerous. 
Mr. P. That's why, like we say, you don't think for yourself. <laughs> it's dangerous. Right, so, what's field 11? Let's just load that, lift that up. Field 11, where are you, my pretty? There it is. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to field 11 and uh, we're going to get some wheat put in there. So, I'll see you over at field 11 in a minute. Here we are, just got to field 11. Oh, let's just try and straighten that a little bit. Just a little bit wobbly, Bob. There we go. So, 4,018 in seed. Uh, this is, let's just get on here and we'll have a better look. This is a pretty big field. But I won't bore you to tears and... Uh, just make your ears bleed as you listen to Mr. P's voice in your head as he does this field. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go round, uh, do the headland. And yes, you guessed it, you know it. You knew it was coming. Mr. P will do a montage. Why not? My farm, I can do what I want. So let's get this headland done. And then it is montage time. And I really do like that this does direct drill. Oh, it just makes things so much easier. And I'll tell you what, when we did uh, bale this field, we managed to get a lot of bales off of it. And, um, you know, when this wheat, or these cereal crops, the likes of the, uh, the oats, and obviously the wheat, let's just turn around, there we go, and the barley, um... Let me know, what do we do with the straw? Uh, when we harvest it, do we enable the straw swath? Or do we uh, literally just chop it up? Preferably, you know, it, it is another source of income. And you know, we could just get it bailed up, get it sold. But uh, yeah, I did have to have a, a look in the old comments section. And so I want to say thank you for letting me know about the old... Uh, Selling straw issue. And yeah, saying it's not worth anything. The last thing you want is, you know, all your hard work to not pay off. And what was that? Oh, that tree. Okay, well that's pretty far away. I still managed to get him of you. Ooh, Mr. P, you're not really using this uh, <laughs> cedar really well. Anyone think you've never planted before? Or seeded? Or drilled? Or... Have a Mr. Pace? Nope, got it! See, I'm telling you, Slughound was born to try and become a farmer. <laughs> I can't say and take the claim of uh, being a farmer, obviously. Because, uh, yeah, Mr. P really doesn't do that well. Ooh. But still, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. It is slow progress. But Mr. P's making headway. Yes, he is. Maybe in the year 5594, Mr. P will be a farmer, but a brain <laughs> in a jar. Running an automated tractor, can you imagine it? No, I can't either. What's... Oh, wait, what a minute. Whoa, I sure... I could have sworn I saw a manhole cover over here. Oh, yep, there it is. You're a wizard. You can make manhole covers disappear. So, you know it was there, now it's gone. Now it's there, now it's gone. Oh, look, at, oh, it's just, it's like it's a portal to another world. I'm not going near it though. Sketchy, at best. Right. This field is going to take a while. It's already 9.39. All the time is going by quickly, but we're making great progress. Like I said, don't really want to be planting all of the fields at the same... Uh, well, I would say at the same time. It's not at the same time, Mr. P. But you know what I mean. All in the same day. Uh do want to switch it up so it does give ourselves at least a fighting chance of being able to get all the fields harvested in time and... Uh, obviously with the, the whole fertiliser and herbicide. 
but we're not doing bad. And oh my, I've just seen this tractor. The poor John Deere is absolutely filthy. Poor girls definitely need, definitely in need of a wash. You would have thought I would have cleaned her already, wouldn't you? But no, Mr. P hasn't. She's a filthy girl. Just look at her. Definitely needs a clean. But, done, Hayland. So let's get straight in to the beautiful montage. I am back, it's 10.34, yes, almost got this field completed, which is brilliant, and I say brilliant, ooh, look, oh, the, oh, hey, the magical manhole, watch your set, that's from nine and three quarters, has nothing on the mystical manhole cover, that is at the BGA, don't go near it, you go disappearing for three weeks, where do you go? Nobody knows. And you come back. A changed person. Oh, what's in there? I don't know. And I'm not going near it. But, anyway. <laughs> End of that, the magical manhole. Uh, let's uh, get this field finished. And, uh, yeah, that will be three fields that we've managed to get done in a pretty quick time. I'm really impressed. It's 10.39 when we've almost got the third field done. So that's two wheat fields and one barley field. And, oh, let's just lift that up. All that is left is for, let's have a quick look, oats in field 60 and 22, canola in 18 and 21. So, will we get that done in, in today? Honestly, I don't know. Probably try like mid-afternoon in the next episode to, to get some more planted because we're going to need to get these fields uh, uh, planted real quickly. There we go. But that is that field done. Absolutely beautiful and the wrong one, Mr. P. There we go. Another wheat field done. Barley field done. And a wheat field done. What? What? How can the weeds be in there already? We need some stronger roundup. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. 10.45. Done some amazing work. The trap that is absolutely disgustingly filthy. You need to let me know in the comments section to give this beautiful girl a clean. It's uh, definitely a need for it. But as always... Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all real soon here on The Cursed. Ugh, six ashes.